Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AxesOfTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. Hope everybody had a good uh, trading session. Uh, again, if you are brand new to the channel, please like, share, uh, and subscribe, and we can participate in this long uh, journey without any prizes at the end of the tunnel uh, together. So let's talk about the tape. So going into uh, today's session, if you uh, traded the last couple of days, we've seen you know, really wonderful expansion days. Um, you know, stocks going in dollars, uh, everything participating. And we kind of talked about it last night in the video. Uh, I said even yesterday, I, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if the market kind of, you know, got a well-deserved rest just because, uh, first of all, we had two really big pushes, and especially in the NASDAQ 100. Uh, and we are one day away uh, from, um, you know, from uh, the CPI, right? You have CPI coming out. Uh, tomorrow at, uh, what was it, 8.30, right? 8.30 in the morning. So it's not really crazy to think that today was going to be one of those sessions uh, that the market uh, kind of rested, get everybody, uh, you know, kind of get everybody have their head straight to see exactly what's going to happen for tomorrow. Uh, but more important is the price action still, uh, still was pretty solid overall. Again, not a lot of advances, uh, not a lot of juice as you could possibly imagine, even names... Uh, that attempted to uh, break out of the channels today uh, wasn't huge, right? And we'll get we'll get to individual pivots in a second. It was really there just wasn't a lot of conviction, just because we are so uh, so close to tomorrow's uh, CPI report. But the most important part is the market didn't implode, and that's the that's the, the kind of the first sign uh, of a healthy market. You know, you, you know, last three four weeks, every single time we got back to the top of the channel, we imploded. Uh, you know, literally right after, right after two, three, four days, same thing, two, three, four days here, two, three, four days. Today, we just had a pregnant pause and actually even put in an inside day uh, from yesterday's move. And if you look at all the other indexes, you kind of see uh, exactly the same thing. Spies, again, just nice, healthy, uh, I don't even want to call it a pullback, but a nice, healthy res day, uh, giving a chance for stocks to kind of reset themselves ahead of tomorrow's number. And the most important part going into tomorrow is having an open mind, right? We say this every single day. Uh, I can have literally the CPI number right in front of me. I still will butcher it because we don't know uh, how the market will react to it, right? There's so many moving parts. And I, I've always said this, if you think trading is just about buying and selling, uh, you know, there's another 3,000 moving parts that you have to uh, take into factor. And that's what tomorrow is. Tomorrow is uh, another, you know, another uh, day of data. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see exactly how the market responds to that data, but more important is we have to be prepared. So these are the numbers, right? These are the numbers uh, going into tomorrow that the bulls need to uh, get above and the bears need to take control. So um, you have here the April 5 highs, uh, the April, excuse me, the April 3 highs uh, were 413.87 on the spice, right? Everybody see that's this candle here. The high from two days ago was 413.72. So for the bulls to, uh, you know, to start stretching again and get going for the big run, uh, the spies need to get above 414 tomorrow and start building above the 414. If they could, uh, there's a whole channel, a whole hot pocket here going all the way up to the 418 level. So this 414 is going to be very, very big uh, for the bulls. For the downside case, right, the bottom of this channel here is the low of the last three days uh this low here is 408.64 on the spies if we start building below 408.64 then yeah we got another two three dollars worth of downside as well I, again i believe in being prepared on both sides of the market every single day you might have a quiet day and i pretty much had a generally quiet day today but you know you'll take the quiet days right just because that means you, you, you're, you're recognizing the value is shrinking you're recognizing the market has had a incredible two-day run right a lot of expansion did we get our third day of expansion today no we didn't but again any day that we are still above the range there's a healthy back test and we recognize that health is most important in an organic market i think we did our job today you know whether you're up a little bit down a little bit it's up down doesn't make a difference it's all about the long game it's taking a step back 
and really seeing the big picture of what this market is and what this market is. And, and it's very important to understand the landscape before you go into every single day. Just for example, you know, like yesterday, for example, on the video, I was talking about a potential trade on, on Shopify, right? And I wanted, you know, I wanted in a perfect world, uh, what I wanted was uh, a gap up today, uh, stock, you know, stock goes green to red, and then the stock would fade the whole day. And the stock, you know, opened down a dollar and a half. I never got my, you know, I never got my setup. Um, I never got my setup and you know, I left it alone, right? And that's kind of what trading is. You you have a plan and you wait for that plan to play out. And if it doesn't play out, you kind of leave it alone. So it, it's, you, you see a lot of names like that uh, play out like that today, either got to their ranges and kind of stalled out and fade because they were tired or just didn't get to the ranges at all. Uh, and there was some, you know, decent profit taking uh, all day. Uh, if you look at the queues uh, going into tomorrow, again, nice, healthy uh, res day. Again, the queues need to get above uh, this 324 level. That was the high for the last two sessions. Needs to get above the 324 and build. So I figure if the spies can reclaim, uh, if the spies can reclaim 414, the queues can reclaim 324. That is your uh, areas of interest. Uh, obviously, the big area here on the queues to the downside is 15. 15 is held. Uh, several times off the bottom channel here. If the you know if the market starts getting very aggressive and the queues start losing 15, then you have room out all the way to 311. So again, make sure again you are super prepared on both sides of the market. Uh, going in the individual names, uh, Tesla today uh, you know continues to rest. Uh, we missed, or at least I missed. Uh, my plan today was to buy Tesla on the five-day bounce. Um, I thought it could get down to 6630s for a bounce. Well, the low of the day was 66.56, so I missed the I missed a really I missed basically a three dollar bounce by about 20 cents on Tesla. But again, it is what it is, and that, that's kind of the whole point. Stocks uh, organically testing, confirming, and holding uh, those levels. Uh, a name, for example, like Microsoft that saw some weakness yesterday. You know, it kind of sat in the range, did absolutely nothing. Uh, Google was kind of odd today. Um, I, you know, we caught Google nicely off this off this range that started uh, off you know, off of uh, March the 6th, only went up about 80 cents, 85 cents or so, and then a big reversal, like out of nowhere. Uh, Amazon uh, broke out today, right? It broke out today, it was very subtle, not a lot of people saw it, but it held up very, very well. Uh, we talked about it yesterday, it was going on a tight, I, I didn't expect it to kind of expand today, so when it actually did, I was, it was kind of surprising. Uh, but more important, they are coming for the weekly uh, 106, 107, or 109 uh, call. So seven, definitely one to watch, continue to watch uh, for tomorrow. Uh, Netflix, we talked about in last night's video. Uh, nice pop, not a huge pop, because again, it's going to correlate to what everything else is doing. But it, then, it, it definitely price improves. So that was uh, pretty decent uh, as well. Meta came close. Meta came close to confirming this channel. I, I, I definitely, definitely want to watch Meta for tomorrow. Uh, again, it stopped right on the five-day moving average. Didn't give that push uh, through the whole number. But this is a name we definitely, definitely want to keep an eye on. Because if there is a rally, this meta is very close. Very, very close. Keeps on getting rejected off the five-day. If you can just reclaim it, uh, it's going to wake up as well. And as you can see here uh, by today's pivots, you know, kind of reflects exactly what I was talking about. Uh, Netflix, we talked about last night. Uh, 332.50s, 333 uh, needs to build. I, again, ran up about three bucks. You know, nothing huge, but it ran up about three bucks, traded all the way up to uh, 336 and change before it kind of uh, rolled over. Uh, LTHM did nothing, went up about 15 cents. Uh, IMGN, I still like. Uh, Amgen, oh, excuse me, uh, AMD, again, another perfect example. Uh, it took out yesterday's channel and oh, what, it ran up about, what, 50 cents, 60 cents, nothing. Not, not a big move. Not, you didn't see big moves anywhere. Uh, it took out yesterday's channel, traded up into the 96s. Again, still looks great. Uh, but again, you can see we, we were just missing that gusto uh, ahead of um, ahead of the CPI. Again, uh, Meta stopped. You're know, basically in the same area, traded up to 3580. I mean, same area. You know, got rejected again. It just needs to get above the five day. Uh, here is Amazon. Uh, 10610 needs to build. Amazon looks good. It looks good. It's one of the very few names uh, that didn't sell off and, and close pretty much within 10 cents of the highs. This thing looks good. If it could take out tomorrow uh, today's channel. Um, Spotify still didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm surprised about Google. So I, I got long off this uh, 109.20s. It went into the 110s. Uh, I thought, you know, they were buying a lot of calls today. I'm very surprised. They're coming for the 11 and 12 weeklies. I'm very surprised uh, it reversed course, but it did what it did. 
Uh, NVIDIA had a monster, monster two-day run. Again, it's been great. Uh, obviously, never came close to uh, confirming back to the upside. And I believe that is it. Yeah, so, I mean, going into tomorrow, uh, again, I want to watch Meta. Uh, there's, there's some names I, you know, I think that look pretty good. Let me give you guys some names. Um, let me give you guys some names to watch for tomorrow. Uh, again, we talked about Meta uh, pretty much in the last couple of days. I'm still waiting for that, especially that morning push uh, to reclaim the five-day. Uh, I'm definitely still watching Spotify. Spotify is just getting closer and closer uh, to convert to confirm um, confirm these earnings highs. Uh, this IMGN that we started discussing yesterday, still tight, guys. Never made it up here, but still super duper tight. Eventually, this thing is imminent. Eventually, the longer it goes sideways, the higher probability this thing's going to take off. Uh, so definitely keep an eye on that as well. And one last one I'll leave you with uh, tonight. Look at the stock ETNB, right? This is a long base, guys, going all the way back from January, February, March the 24th. It, it fi this is the highest close in this whole formation. If this thing starts building above today's channel, this thing could really start expanding. So definitely keep an eye on that. Other than that, tomorrow is uh, the CPI, right? 8.30. I will uh, go. And by the way, I have, a, I have a slam dunk for all you guys. Ready for this? Slam dunk. Talk about guarantee stuff. Slam dunk. If you want to make a small fortune tomorrow, I'm going to tell you a quick little story. I've been going to Nick Nick's um, playoff game since the early 90s, right? Since nine, since 94. I've never been to a home playoff game that they won. Never. The last one was uh, two years against the Hawks, game five. I was there. We lost. Tomorrow, I'm going to game five, Nick's Heat. Guaranteed. You could bet your mama's 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 house we're going out in five. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.